Hello everybody, welcome to episode 8, uh, <coughs> story about lag, and you know, this time we're we're running at 8pm Malaysian time, this is uh, closer to prime time, oh, boom razor, awesome, mm, but should I be taking the Fey Trickster instead, which is harder to level, uh, no, don't go with the two razors, since that's my highest level character, so let's Gear him up, and who can we join today? Da, 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 da. Ah, all friends are in Uber Six, so you know what? Maybe we will take the Phatrix there after all. And if the lag is bad, it's going to be pretty terrible, because I'm not going to be able to kill anything. Uh, not to mention... going to die a lot easier. Let's go see what Griffin X is doing. Let's drop in on him. Oh, I didn't... Uh, turn on my lag meter. Otherwise, I might have had a nice but neon city, but he's, he's no, he's not actually, yeah, he's not actually doing the challenge. So, as you can see, things are quite nice, it's loading, you know, quite well, which is quite normal when there aren't a lot of people around. So, this would make this not a story of lag. Since we want a story of lag, we're going to have to find someone in the thick of it. Well, it's currently full. See, that guy was in the thick of it, but I couldn't join him. There we go. Run Kuzu instead. <clears throat> and so it says 4.45 while I'm loading. See what it drops down to the moment it gets there. One! This is looking good. So it says 1558. Alright, it's not actually that bad. This is quite playable, really. I mean, sure, I'm stuck. I can't move now. Okay, now it's loaded. But, you know, otherwise, it wasn't too bad. I didn't get, like, stuck for a really long time when I zoned in, which is a regular thing. Okay. It's because there aren't too many people. Uh, and this biome, it isn't a Zerg. So. Episode 8, Story of Lag, may be the least laggy story we have. Which is, you know, lucky 8s, right? Probably why. I shall name all my episodes. Episode 8 now. Because it's... It. Nah, that's just me. So, one of my other abilities as a Fey trick to throw this grenade at it's, you know, fairly powerful. You actually do your most DPS spamming that button. But you don't see me doing that in multiplayer because, well, when there's a Zerg, or, you know, more than just me. Because it knocks all the little monsters around. And while that sounds like a great idea, it's fantastic if you're solo, it keeps them away from you. When there's lots of players around, all you're doing is knocking monsters about and making it harder for everyone else to hit stuff. In other words, if you're using that attack um, and you're partnered with someone else, all you're doing is slowing down uh, the speed at which you clear these dungeons, which, you know, means you're slowing down your XP per hour. It's definitely not something you want to do. That's why you don't see me doing it. Uh, maybe I shall change the title of episode 8 later. Not too laggy or something. Well, it's still a, it's still a game with 460 ping. Probably a little higher than uh, the average. Actually, a fair number now. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people here. So there's a possibility that I won't get loot when we defeat the dungeon. But that's all right. I can do that. 
to see. Okay, now if they're frozen, I could probably throw the grenade because then it won't affect things too much. But if it's now, I don't see any. I don't see any ice age. So not likely to be seeing too much freezing. Freezing. The anime slash manga. Feature from the Guro. I quite like it. Uh, probably got a mature audience range. Oh, a bit slow there. And you guys are going at a really well. Okay, they're not going at a really fast. Clip. They're going at a very good clip because if they were going at a really fast clip, I wouldn't be able to keep up. Which you know you'll see sometimes. I will try and add to that speed. Oh, yeah. boss was going. Oh. Everything went quickly. Everything is good. Everything is awesome. You'd think that a lot of people would stream that because, you know, Lego. I mean, look at this game. What does it remind you of? Really smooth Lego. All right, that's why I'm okay. Wait, I'm gonna have to record myself saying everything is awesome. Everybody. Take it straight from the song. It's going to be copyright infringement. So I'll add that to my list of improvements for the stream. Later on, we'll get to get some nice little files up in SoundCloud. Get round to making up stuff. Ah, everyone's going for the big thinner. Actually, I'll go with the crowd. Wait, hang on. Where is the crowd going? They're all going to that sit. I'm gonna go for that one because that's figuring really fast. So yeah, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to hang back on the rails. Slide from a distance. And let everyone else, you know, mess it up with the bombs. Oh, oh. Am I gonna make it? Oh, wait. There's a shortcut. Oh, they finished it already. Well, I got the other one. Let's see if I can catch up to everybody. It sounds like they're fighting already. Uh, might not. Okay, but it does need to be. Oh, well, I got the XP, if not the. If not the. Uh, the loot. But we want loot! Well, we also want the XP. And between the two, I'd say XP is more important for this guy because you know, I can't, I can't level him on my own. Well, I can, but I can, as I explained in the previous stream, because of the bad lag, I'm not very effective as classes that shoot. Because you have to hit the mobs where the server says they are, not where you say they are. So. I can be like super accurate like I am in Payday 2. Shoot them all in the, you know, right square in the middle of their forehead. And they still won't take any damage as long as, as long as they're moving because they, the server will tell you that, you know, you shot at his head on your screen, but on my screen, he was five feet away. You missed by a mile. And the server is always You lose. We have time to raise this guy. Oh. He released. Well, that was a sensible thing to do. Where are we heading to next? Oh, okay. You know what? Bionicles up ahead will join him. a bit more. Oh, that's hit. So I, you can see I was tracking that guy that was moving. And there were no damage numbers above his head because, well, he was moving and so I couldn't hit him. So I actually have to look out for mobs that aren't moving because those are about the only guys I can actually expect to hit. And if you're playing single player, you lag. One method is to backpedal. That way they pop run into your line of fire and everything is awesome. 
these guys are coming out at least I don't mind using my little grenades. Oh, I don't know, a tank here, I probably don't want to use it for tank will hit stuff. Am I leveling up right now? Um, yeah, kind of. I mean, this is how I level. Like I said, because of the lag, I can't actually kill stuff when using a class that shoots. So I actually need to leech off these hordes, the zergs that happen during the challenges. So it's not strictly like solo grinding. It's, it's more like a leeching thing. I've mentioned before I had to throw away my pride when it came to this game. It doesn't matter if I... Okay, now that also hits. So, you can see earlier... Alright, no, now I'm starting to hit. But earlier on, there was a period where I wasn't actually hitting things. Even though I was shooting right at them. Quick, it's okay, not too bad. I wonder if I can do that. Did I do that? Maybe I'm remembering my Neon Ninja. Oh, this is a lot of dead guys. Wow. <laughs> Did that happen? You could glass cannon like me survived. Oh, that is awesome. Who was that again? Yao Chen? Yakubo Chen. So I'm still resting. Okay, he's rest. You can move around while resting. Did he thank me? How nice. I'll raise you more. <laughs> oh! I actually completed the challenge by following the Zerg around. That was nice. But the remnants... ...will... ...hopefully give me a bit more XP, I might get to 25. So I think I need the... Uh, oh wait, do I need 25 to use the red gem? Play the power gem? I think it's only 25, yeah. That would be good. Then I can finally bring this guy to Uber 7 instead of sticking to Uber 6. Solar Dog asks, how do you get class gems? That's actually in, in guild chat, so I don't know if he's listening to this. Did you get... Are those toothbrushes? Hmm. I guess it might look like one. Could be a toothpick. That would be even better or worse, depending on how you look at it. Uh, I'm not getting in there. Hmm. I think they're about to kill it. Probably don't want to get stuck in here when they do. So we'll contribute by giving them it still worth two flux each. So they probably get make, get more flux from this state shape so than they do by uh, loot collecting the weapons they'll get from killing that fun part. Actually, they took a while. I thought they'd kill it quite quickly. Maybe I should have gone down. Do I know anyone down there I can port to Bionicle? Bionicle kills stuff quickly. Well, maybe it died because he, he went in. Yeah, I'll take note. I need to help these guys. So, <clears throat> to answer the earlier question before I got sidetracked, which happens often enough to me, getting a class gem is about opening up empowered boxes, uh, empowered gem boxes, and you can get those by trading lunar souls, lunar souls from the Shadow Tower, after you defeat the Daughter of the Moon. You get one a week from the normal Daughter of the Moon, uh, I think it's two? Is it from the hard? No, maybe not two. I'll have to check. But definitely one from the normal mode. Wait, what am I doing here? Oh, right. So you trade that in for an empowered gem, open it up, and you'll get either a resplendent gem, a stellar gem, um, empowered versions, mind you, not the regular gems, and a rare chance for a class gem, class key, class gem key, yeah, well, what's, what's the full, what's it called, class gems. So the key is something you take to a coliseum 
and from there you get to unlock a vault after you defeat or survive the Colosseum. Alright, it's that time when I didn't do damage, I didn't actually hit, I actually missed them, so fair enough. And in the Colosseum, you use that class gem key and you will get an empowered gem for the class that you are using. So you have to be using the class that you want the empowered for, not use other classes to get it for you. Uh, the other little bit here, like you might ask, well, where is this Colosseum? It's in the Everdark. Where is the Everdark? It's one of those portals you'll find in the hub. And so why does everyone just, you know, grab their stuff? Oh, there's no one here. Can I make it alone? We'll try. Oh, Yakubo joined it. He was just waiting for me. Yeah, I'm hitting all the mobs rather than the boss. No damage to the boss. Why? Okay, now I'm damaging him. Good. Crit, crit, crit. Yay. I think uh, he's moving. Don't move, boss. I can't. I can't damage you if you move. <laughs> oh, die! Well, <clears throat> so you get your class. You get your PR five thousand, which means you'll need stellar gems, probably, or level thirty, and a lot of very upgraded gems. And then you get your class key, and you complete the Colosseum, and then you'll have your class ability. Now, I'm not fully conversant in how the class abilities work, because none of my tunes have the class gem. Because, well, I'm only at the 2000 power rank range. Uh, I don't think I can even... I think only one class actually breaks 3000 power rank. Let's go in. Let's follow. This might be interesting. So I haven't had the chance to experience the glory of the class gems myself. Everyone's just kind of going all over the place. Uh, oh. Thought we went through here. So once we clear this dungeon, we'll end episode 8 of A Story of Lag, which didn't feature much lag. Uh, and that's actually a good thing. It's very surprising. I. Normally, I would expect during peak, it lags quite badly. Alright, so we're not actually doing anything. Ouch. No. Oh. Um, just to, you know, we've got, I've got one viewer. Yay! <laughs> just to explain, um, a lot of my streams have only either one, maybe two, or none viewers. I think I had three at one point. I can't remember episode 4 or something for some strange reason so uh, what happens is <clears throat> I actually upload or rather export these to YouTube so the hope is that people well might find it useful once it gets on YouTube otherwise I'm just talking to myself most of the time <laughs> and that's the reason why I explained all of that even though you know, the one viewer in my stream actually knows how to use and get the class keys. I'm not sure if he has the class key. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. But in any case, this was episode 8. And we'll complain about lag the next time in episode 9 as well. See you then.